I'm Honest Jardy from Honest Jardy's Plumbing, and today we are going to put a hose bib in. Five and a half up, and then I can go. I always drill up so the water, because the water shuts off inside the house, you want that to drain out of the, the, uh, the hose bib. Okay. Go up at a slight angle, not too much. Go inside and take a peek. If the hippie thinks I don't know what I'm doing. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Right he the got that pilot hole. Okay. In the way, but it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna right. now we're using me. that bit. I'll go over a hair. Pardon? Okay, he is through. All right, let's do it a test run. Let's do it a test run. Perfect. It's freezing weather. I always remove them the day after Labor Day. Yeah. Because if you, if it goes to 28 degrees, it's going to freeze inside, and it's going to burst, and then I get blamed. Right. They left the hose on. If the water in the hose, it stays in, inside the hose bib, it shuts off back here inside the house. But if water's in here... Yeah. During a freeze, it'll burst the pipe. I have two options. I could have used uh, three options. I could sweat, but I don't want to sweat because they already have a sweat connection. And if I heat it up too much, it'll disturb that. You could sweat it inside a fitting. Yeah. Piece of pipe. So what I'm doing is just going to use uh, about four wraps. Four wraps of good tape. Put a little dope on there. I know not everybody does the pipe dope thing. Thing They usually use tape or dope. An old timer told me if I tape and dope, I never have a leak. So guess what? I've been doing it for years and I never had a leak. So he was right. Mm -hmm. So listen to your elders. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that pretty tight. You got It's a feel. You don't have to go crazy. It's just a feel I have. You gotta watch with tape because tape will deceive you. See how it's at an angle? Right. What happens is when you shut it off, it shuts off here right. and the water drains out. As long as you don't have a hose on it. You leave the hose on, it bursts. Yeah, you gotta do it over again. You gotta do it over and the homeowner's lie to me. So, we don't want any lies. Mark it up so we know where to drill. Right there. <laughs> I need to, I said about a 10 inch piece in there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. okay. All right, <laughs> put it on. Beautiful. Cinch ring. Yep. I don't like these particular ones. I had, there you hold it, hold that hit me. Okay. And you try to keep it an eighth to a quarter inch off the face. That's what they recommend. These these uh, particular cinch clamps, I don't care for. They're a little loose. The ones from Cash Acme are fit on the pipe a little snugger. That's They're right. easier to work with. Idea where to cut it. Eh, close enough. How's that? Close enough? Higher is okay too because it'll give it more pitch out of there. Okay, I got it. All right, let me do that one too. Good. Good, we got it good. Good. I'll put the shut off on the end. Put the shut off there. So it's like I need to decide. Pushing in? Pushing in. Okay. Screw gun in the... It just spreads. Wait, the clamp. Okay. It, it just spreads and goes over the pipe. Yep. And you, wanna, you don't want to use metal on pecs. With a slide. And the flashlight has a weight. You don't have to kill them. I like to put a clamp on each side of a shutoff or a fitting. 
and then you can go every other joist. Tell a hot line from a cold line. A hot line will maintain the copper color where a cold line sweats. They turn green. Right. And they turn like a darker green. Like that. Yeah, a different. So you can always so we're gonna decide where we want to go. We did ourselves a little loop to doop, so right there is good. I'll cut it right there. Right there. I'll cut her right there. What is it? Still, it's still draining? Sounds like it. Sounds good. I got it. Here we go. That's just one fall here. We have to clean it up with some sandpaper, right? Adapter, it's a, it's a male fitting. And all I'm going to do is press it in a pro press fitting. Yep. There's different ways you could go. This is the best and the easiest. No, it's just, there's multiple ways you could do them. Fittings. That way you know you're. I like to mark the depth on the fittings. That way you know you're inserted correct depth because you could actually be out here, 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 here. So you want to insert it correctly. And see now this is one of those uh, fittings that fits on there right. See how tight it is. Mm -hmm. I love, these are much better fittings. Okay, we'll put a clamp there and a clamp right. there. I'm just gonna press it. Ready? Okay, the hippie. Yep. There it goes. Anything coming out? Yeah. A good or not good? Yeah, it's coming Don't out shut good. it off. Don't shut it off. Is it dirty? Yep. Well, let it get clean. Is it, how's it coming out? Good? Good. Let's go. Alright. Here's a mistake people make. They shut the water off. They see water running. They creep, keep cranking. They don't have to do that. The pipe's at an angle to drain all the water out of the, the silcock. So it doesn't freeze. It's in the heated environment inside. It's doing what it's supposed to. Do. 